right, film rolling. Yep, welcome back. This time, I'm bringing something I've gotten recently, what I consider already to be an ultimate camp knife. Oh yeah, the cold steel drop forged survivalist. We're gonna have some fun with this. First off, I want to go over a few things. This is all one piece construction, if you can see. Guard, the handle, it's all integrated into the blade. Except the handle scales, they're actually embedded, which I really like. There's no chance of that becoming loose. Blade's about 8 inches, I think. The link will be in the description. We got a full flat grind, and it is. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, you can see the hairs on there. 52100 drop forged steel. Teflon coating. I'm gonna love it. Now, we're gonna start off with camp tasks. I'm gonna baton this piece of maple. No problem. Next up, we're going to do some light chopping. This is birch. That didn't work out. I think my aim was a little off. Hang on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Love it. That's something I want to try here. Where's my baton? You really had to do that. Okay, yeah, I could totally clean this off easily. Next up, I'm gonna chop this. Now a little more batoning, because if you got a camp knife like this and you got wood to process around the camp, of course, you're going to be doing this a lot. Where's that maple again? That maple's going to lead right into what I want to do next, I think, if it's not too dried out. Missed that time. like that squeak. This coating's holding up pretty well. Yeah, that might be too dry. Wait a minute. Let me split it down more. I don't know if this is maybe I could be wrong. This is like the bushcraft segment. If you're in a camp area and you don't want to use a lighter, like I don't, I don't like using lighters and matches anymore. Yeah, I'm old school. Deal with it. One thing you're going to need to do is make feather sticks. And now, now I had to modify the spine a little bit, but, ow, I'm getting myself. It's just a little damp, but. Yeah, 
stuff's a little damp. Let me try feathering something else. Yeah, this isn't going how I expected it to, but... Hearing a lot of stuff in the background. Also, I want to mention that if you really want to use this knife for food prep, full black grind, go for it. It's a thick blade. This blade is pretty thick. It might be close to the thickness of my SP-10. But... Almost at that time. This isn't fat wood, I'm just doing this stuff. And I think I also found the best spot to scrape the fire steel. Almost. It's a bit windy out here, so that's not really doing me any favors. Let me see. I thought I had some fat wood out here, but I don't think so. I don't think I have any fat wood out here right now. But I don't want to go back inside right now. Let me just see. There are some feather sticks down here I made a while ago, so we might try those. They were also made with this yesterday. If I can't find any fat wood, we'll give these a try. I made these with this with this knife yesterday. I've had this knife since yesterday, and I wanted to do some testing already. Worst case. Oh, wow. I did find the fat wood. Okay. We'll do both. Why the heck not? Now, getting the fire should be a lot easier. Fatwood is one of the best fire resources. Yep, there we go. Burn, baby, burn. And also, I'm gonna show something dirty. Really? I love it when it's easy to clean like that. Now I'm going to do a little compare. Actually first, the sheath. The sheath. Cold steel secure X sheath. I would have preferred leather, but this is just fine. And one thing I like is this. You can actually take this off. You can actually take this part off and screw it to the other side. So it's ambidextrous. That's a cool idea. Now, for size comparison of this knife, I have my good old K-Bar Dog's Head Utility Knife. Now, these two look really cool together. The drop forge is not that much bigger. Putting that out for now. But its steel is definitely better. 52100 versus... Now, why don't we throw it? Versus 1095 Pro Van. Hmm. I'm not having a good spot to set this sucker up. No world. I guess it won't dance.
trying to be careful because this tip is very pointy. That tip is very pointy and I don't want to break it. I hit it with the exact wrong thing. I'm not, this thing isn't the best balance, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to get a stick. I'm gonna, I might need to throw it a different way. didn't work. Ooh. That almost did it. That actually hit with the edge. It actually hit with the edge. I'm not good at this. It might be the balance, but it's probably me. That time, we're not getting any damage on the tip, thankfully. Keep hitting the tip first, but it's not sinking in. It's like talking with stupid people. Okay. Normally, I'd say these botch throws are a good thing to test the integrity, but you know what? Um, I don't want to torture the knife any more than I need to. So, that this has been the Drop Forge Survivalist. Some bushcraft, some wood processing. Now let's do some more chopping before we go. I gotta say, this new tripod is awesome. Big thanks to my uncle for that. There. We might try one more fire, because why the heck not? Let's try it actually without the fat wood. Let's get in focus so you can see these nice feathers. Because I want to carve some fresh feathers and get them lit up with this. I don't feel right not doing that. Let's try and get a flat area. Ooh, yeah. Okay. That is niceness. We're making paper. Paper mill open for business. <laughs> oh, man. This is the good stuff. If you want to see what this knife can handle for destruction, look up Donnie B all day's video on it. It's a bit long. I'm getting my knuckle on the on the stump. I keep getting my knuckle on the stump a little bit, but. But there we go. Hang on. There we go. That's a fire. That's done with a drop for survivalist. Let's do some fat wood. Ooh, okay. This is carving fat wood nicely. Because honestly, camping, one of the things you're going to do is fire making. Making spears, if this thing carves this stuff. I shouldn't have said I'm ending the video. Because this is probably going to go on for a little longer. Now for the bat wood. messed it up. I smacked it out. That's 
fat wood's going to burn for a little bit. So, but now I think I could do some carving. I'm going to try to carve a point on this. I'm going to use the D-bad method. At least I've seen him do this a lot. So like you said, if you need to make spikes, because this is just like little camp stuff. And maybe I'll carve this into a tent peg, actually. Yeah, let's carve a tent peg, because that's likely what you're going to be doing more. Like, it's likely going to be more useful trying to camp than a, than a spike, than just a pit spike or tent or spear. Let's be honest. If you're going camping, you're probably not like in a survival situation. So, we're gonna carve a tent peg. I don't know how well this is gonna go. I don't usually use big knives for this stuff. But if you needed to carve a tent peg with, and you just had this, could you do it? We're gonna find out. Oops. Okay, there we go. I haven't carved a tent peg in a very long time. So I'm sorry if this is really bad. Fire's still going. Really feeling like a camp now, isn't it? I'm gonna get the bark off, so. It ain't done, but. Cold Steel's relief edges are really pretty good. And what I did this thing yesterday, I threw it, I did tip tests. It's, it took it all in a stride. If you had this, if you just had this for camping, you'd be pretty well off. We are almost there. This is probably going to be one of the worst tent pegs you've ever seen. rounding the top so you can hammer it in. I think I could do this better. Hang on. Let me get the notch better. I'm trying to get this so you can see it. If you can't, I'm sorry. This is dangerous. It seems really dangerous. Put my hands in danger here, so. But. There's a, there's a tent spike, and just to see if it works, I'm going to use the baton to see if I can hammer it into the wood. Yep. Hard to get that 
out. So if that's gonna go into wood like that, that'll definitely go into the ground. I could have made the notch here a little better, like a hook, but I think that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Links will be in the description. And if I have to give this knife a rating, I'm gonna give it a solid nine out of 10. The only thing that kept it from being a 10 is the, was the spine not being able to throw sparks as well as I had hoped. But I took care of that easily, so that's it. As you can see, it can handle small stuff. I'm gonna split this, then I'm gonna shut the camera off. There we go. Thanks for watching.